If you are wondering if you can pay with Motorola Edge 60 Pro, then the answer is yes, you can easily make contactless payments with this phone. And in order to do so, first we need to make sure that NFC is enabled. So we're gonna go to the settings, choose connected devices, then over here go to connection preferences, and over here we have NFC. NFC should be enabled when you are about to pay. It doesn't have to be enabled all the time, but of course you can just keep it on if you want to. Now, besides that, I can also recommend using this option, require device unlock for NFC. So we can use NFC only when screen is unlocked. This option is actually, actually disabled by default. So for security reasons, I think it is really just wise to turn this option on. Besides that, we can also go to contactless payments in order to choose the default wallet app. In my case, I have Google Wallet and we're gonna use this app in this case to add our credit or debit card details. So after that, we can go to the app drawer and then we need to find the wallet app. It might be, for example, in the Google folder. In my case, it is over here. And this is the app that we use in order to store the information about our card. In case you don't have this app, you can just simply go to the Play Store and then we can search for wallet app. Just write wallet and then you should be able to find Google Wallet over here. So let's open the app. Now over here I need to press view wallet and you can also agree to notifications. And essentially you want to press add to wallet over here in the bottom right corner in order to then choose payment card. And over here right after that you should be able to open the rear camera and you can scan the details of your credit or debit card. However, if you have issues with, um, with getting that information, with scanning the card, then we can press enter details manually over here at the bottom. Fill everything in and then once you do, just press save and continue and then follow the instructions in order to finalize this process. Once you add your credit or debit card, the phone is ready to be used to be paid with. So once again, once you are about to pay, if you want to pay with your phone, first of all, make sure that NFC is enabled. You can also use Control Center for that. So if you go to the Control Center, you have the NFC button. If not, if it's missing, any, if you don't have it anywhere, you can press this pen icon in order to edit the Control Center and then you should be able to find the NFC so you can drag and drop it pretty much anywhere. In my case, I use location just for this example, of course. So make sure that NFC is enabled and if the device unlock requirement is enabled then of course the phone should be unlocked as well so unlock your phone enable nfc and then you just um, place it uh, the same way you well you use the phone the same way you use your card essentially and that's about it in case you have multiple different cards then of course you can also go to the wallet app and then you should be able to scroll through different um cards and that's about it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe.